Hi everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about variables, global variables, and usage of data stitch action. Let's get started. Here you can see two payloads. Your request payload contain two numbers, and your response payload contain total of two numbers, and also status of the integration. So we are building this integration using global variables and data stitch action. Before getting to the integration, you have to get some understanding on global variables and data stitch action. So, what is global variable? So, global variables are the variables like other programming languages, Java, your PL SQL, right? These variables are available throughout the orchestrated integration for assignment. So, global variables value will affect all integrations using that variable. So these variables are accessible to all integrations within the same instance of OIC, but not across different instances. So you can define the global variables with the different data types such as string, number, object, date, time, and boolean. You can create a simple to complex type global variables. Let's discuss on the data stitch action. Right. So using the data stitch operation, we can assign the global variables and update the global variables. Okay, you can incrementally build a message payload from one or more existing payload with the data stitch action. In the real time, there is a requirement where you are going to get the payloads from multiple sources, but you wanted to combine the all the pay, all the payload lines in one a single uh, single payload. In that scenario, we are going to use the data stitch action. Okay, the data stitch as a action supports both partial and full replacement of the message payload. This stitch action supports both scalar and complex type variables. Let's go through the couple of real time examples where we are going to use this data stitch action. Right? In this example, you have an existing purchasing order payload uh, coming from different uh, web services. Your first web services contain five lines and uh, second uh, web services contain the sixth line. Right? This stitch action enables you to append a sixth line to existing uh, file and array, right? So in this scenario, we are going to use the uh, uh, data stitch action. So let's see one more example. One of the scenario where you are going to use the read file operation within the scope, but I want to map, I want to uh, map the read file operation to the out out of the scope. In the scenario, definitely you are going to use the data stitch action. So let's go through the one more example, right? So you can map response from one switch flow inside another switch flow uh, by using stitch action. This example we can see in the other practical sessions. Okay. In data stitch uh, uh, action, you can see multiple operations. Okay. First one is the append, second one is the assign, third one is the remove. So append means like uh, as I uh, explained in the session, uh, you can uh, you can combine the two payloads and you can assign to the global variable, right? Append the end of the repeating target element. You can use the append operation, right? Assign, assign activity is something like you can assign the, uh, assign the uh, value or element or attribute to into, into the target element or attribute, right? Or you can override any existing data in the target element. Then you can, you can use the assign activity, okay? And also you can remove the target element from the variable. In that scenario, you can you, you can use the remove operator. Let's get start our practical session so that you can understand the uh, global variables and data stitch operation. I just connect to the OS application. Click on the integration. So we already created a REST connection in the, in the previous sessions. So I'm going to use the same connection here. Click on the uh, integration. Click on create. I'm going to select the Abdin orchestration. Okay, so as a, as you know, Abdin orchestration is a multi-step invocation flow, right? Whenever you wa you wanted to generate an endpoint URL, then you can use this option. Select this. I'm going to give some meaningful name. The zero one data stitch edition integration. Okay, so create it and save it. Okay, click on the horizontal option. Now we are going to uh, configure your REST connection. Okay, 
our my rest connection name is batch 01 rest connection so i'm going to configure my request and response payload here so you can give addition we are going to calculate the addition and click on next okay so you have to give your endpoint url uh, addition and also you can select the post verb okay enable this request and uh, response payload here click on next select json sample either you can apply the json file sample either you can update directly here my request is two numbers click on ok click on next ok again select the json sample click on inline and update the your response payload click ok next and done ok so once you configure the rest connection the one mapper will updated by default ok this is the place where we are going to transform the data from source to target we can perform the mapping here ok so what i will do i'm going to create a one variable by using assign activity ok assign variables click on create ok here i am going to take one variable so i am going to give name as ok v underscore total ok total so your data type by default updating a string validate ok uh, we have to give some value i am going to give some blank value here validate and close close so now i am going to use the global variables right so this is the place where you can create a global variables right you can click on this symbol okay you can add variable here you can add variable so for naming convention i am going to give uh, number one it's a data type number and you can select one more variable number two you can change the data type to number both are numbers just close it okay if you want to see the those global numbers again you have to click here you can see here and you can enable a number of global variables here you can use these global variables throughout the integration okay okay we are ready with all global variables now I want to assign the values to the global variables. As I explained earlier, earlier we have to use the data stitch operation, right? So what I am going to do is, I am drag and drop this data stitch operation here. Okay, I am going to name it as data stitch configure. Okay, so here one dialog box will open you have to select your global variable so now i am going to assign for global variable i am going to assign my input parameter p1 number so for this you have to use operation here we are going to assign the value so you can assign the you can use the assign operator right so here you can see three types of uh, operations assign append remove for now we are going to use assign here okay now click on here okay now what you can do so for global variable number one so we are assigning a number value right so you can click on the addition execute your request wrapper select this okay so you can use the p1 number it's already number format you can just drag and drop it okay for the global variable we assign the number one and also we can select another global variable okay so global variable two assign activity we are using click this uh, developer view okay and again you have to select the p2 number okay so we have assigned two values to the global variables all right we are done okay we are done with okay let us save it so now what we are going to do now we are going to take one more assign activity okay assign variable one okay so click on create 
so i'm going to calculate i'm going to collect sum of two numbers right already we have created declared a variable v underscore total select this okay and click on here so already we have assigned the values to our global variables so what we can do just we have to add those global variables okay you can just drag here and plus and you can select the second global variable okay validate and close okay validate and close okay so now we have to do the mapping right the final step is the mapping click on here okay you have to do the mapping open the request upper right side and you are we have to map the total to total okay and then i'm going to update the status as success then you can click on the create target node here make it as success okay okay done validate close so now we have to enable the tracking fields okay you can click on the tracking so you have drag and drop okay one variable okay here you can enable three fields okay you can enable three tracking fields here save it save and close now let me activate the integration refresh it now i'm going to activate the integration so for now i'm not able i'm not, I'm, not, I'm not enabling this uh, trace activate it okay action in progress so just run this integration click on this button and click on test open the body so let me test this see we got the 300 let me change this to 900 okay so here you will get total of these two numbers so this is the way we can use the global variables and data stitch operation so we can do some more examples in the next session thank you